The Sticky Trifle Podcast. Welcome to the Sticky Trifle Podcast. And welcome, and we are about to go right in to the heart of this village they call New Eberdua. And we're going to be going to a site that I didn't even care about, uh, some of you maybe did. And you're about to find out is it's our first couple on a Sticky Trifle podcast. And how sad to see the Dower Hotel in a state it is now, when it used to be a busy place once upon a time. However, as they say, out with the old and in with the new. Sticky, Sticky Trifle Podcast, and uh, welcome, we're here, and this is going to be my most favourite location I've ever been in, in Aberdeenshire, for sure. Um, now, if you've done a can, we've got two guests for the first time ever, and they're a couple, and I think they're in love, and they might, I think they're married, are you married? Sometimes. All right. okay, so, <laughs> so how long have you been married? 40 years next year. <laughs> so it's a Fiddy Car in Fins 40 years. Uh, it's Ruby. It's, it's a Ruby. Wedding, and I'm 60. You're 60? Next year. Next year. If he's not treating you good, I'll take you on a date. <laughs> okay, so if, if it doesn't work out during the line, okay, so. <laughs> uh, right, okay, so we've got in, uh, is it Doogie or Doog? Doogie. Doogie Cooper. Uh, some folks say Doog or, or whatever. And we've got on. Yeah. And you're a Cooper and I. Well, I yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> right, uh, thank you for a, a coffee, by the way. Coffee's very well. I, I'd actually took an, um, a Ken Ewan's dinner drink through a week, but there's no interest in an innocent gun, is there? No. No, I'm still. No. no, you're not alcoholic, are you? No. 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 So you still, Abdi. No. Right, okay. Uh, thank you for uh, being here on the Sticky Trifle podcast and allowing me to be here. Uh, now, what's the name of this place? ACDC Glamping. ACDC Glamping, and you've gotten very good reviews by Facebooking.com. I'll just going back backtrack a wee bit. The reason why it's called ACDC, Ann Cooper and Dougie Cooper, and that was far we come up with the name for ACDC. Glamping. Well, I kind of worked that out, but to start with I thought they must like that rock group a yeah, real a lot. But um, a brilliant original place, a, the like a, a location, and but also Carbons is looking really good. I mean, very smart, mm-hmm. and the uh, work has been putting in brilliant. Uh, and you've, we've even got a, a log burner around in the Fire background. Pit, yeah. Fire pit, I'll right. tell you, you don't have to get hold this name here, actually, no. if you want. You can just book us for yourself for a weekend. Pizza oven there. <laughs> yeah, pizza so, oven, yeah. so does the pizza? Us, I'm and, a pizza. and if we've a pod each. <laughs> oh, even better, eh? Right, so uh, you've been married coming up to 40 here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, now, let's get back to. For you in Bath originated fair because I, I I didn't care actually but are you Bath fair but do originally? No, I'm first stricken. You're first stricken. I'm stricken. And so, what about you, Doug? Eberdour, born and bred. Eberdour, stricken. Mm-hmm. How did you meet Anne? Uh, stricken Mark, you one night. Was you drunk? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but um, so yes, um, it was a pretty good connection with you, obviously, for you've been married this long, eh? Yeah, that's yeah, right. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, and you've got 
family. Yeah, do uh, good. Boy and a girl. Boy and a girl. I came Gary Whale actually. Yeah. Right. And there's Gemma, which... Gemma. I don't, I'm not sure if I can have, but I probably can actually. see. Four grandkids. You've got four grandchildren now. Two boys and two girls. Great, so uh, do you enjoy that aspect with yeah. oh, the grandkids? Right. And I, I. Uh, the other thing I was going to ask, I, I didn't care about pets wise with you ins. Are you ins? Always, are pets lovers? I've always had a dog, and basically, when well, I got a dog at present, because we've started doing a bit more holiday, uh -huh. so we didn't like putting dogs away. And I'd well. to watch that about hold this when you're, somebody's needs to watch yeah, pets absolutely. and it can be frustrating. We do like which I understand. We do like a dog in who's uh -huh. in fact basically if I retire I'll be a dog here the next day. Aye. Okay. Definitely. <laughs> so now can can we also speak um Oslef you in say Fisrachan and Eberdur originally? Um is Eberdur always been a location you've been in since you like go together? Oh, when you first moved? We've been in Strachan for one year, one then year. I bought a house in the pub one night and renovated that and then we moved to Aberdour and we've been here ever since. And how do you feel about Aberdour? Do, do you like Aberdour, both of you? I presume you oh, do. Oh, oh, <coughs> you you wasn't too it? keen on to start with, but then all the youngsters, well, once we had the kids and the mixed with Abdi, um, it was fine. There was a period in Aberdour where I was in the youngsters, the school closed. Uh -huh. Yep. But at the present time, there's about 30, 30 young kids in the uh, New Aberdour at the primary school resort in Which is? Which is how the young people are coming back to New Aberdour. Aye, it's interesting to hear yeah. that. Uh, one sad thing I noticed when I'm passing to get to here was seeing a, a Dower Hotel. hotel. Yeah. It kind of looks... It's been it's, it's sad. Because it was such a... It was yeah. a really popular place yeah. back in the day, wasn't it? Yeah, it was quite good. Uh, so, do you think it'll ever uh, return again? It's up for sale and um, or his name and name, it was at auction three months ago, mm -hmm. but it never made the asking price, mm -hmm. so I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Now, only why uh, near the uh, Dower Hotel is going to go new, but what you and have done, I think it's phenomenal if I'm being honest. And it's, you've, you've already got bookings straight away, have you, for yeah. every weekend yeah. coming up new? Mm -hmm. We're booked solidly, more or less, in July over the weekends. Uh -huh. And um, we've got a few bookings in, and Abdi sticking the whole lot opposed to one off units. Now, c can I ask Fuzz, great, brilliant idea, Swiss, by the way? Fuzz, idea was oh, this? It was Dougie's. <laughs> well, it was, your it was idea. a combination. Right, okay. It was a combination, because as I said, we've seen it up at Kirgela Haven, it was caravaning, and we thought, well, that's something we could do. And, uh, Which you have? Yes, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Steen's three years. We've done a pod every year over the last three years, and uh -huh. it's just been okay. It's been a lot of work, but we both enjoy it. To see it's it's, it's worth it. It's worth it to see far you're at new. Um, so, Anne, how, how do you how do you manage this place? Uh, do you deal with like a pods and our thing, or is it a bookends, or what happens there? The bookends no. is done through. Bo oh, sorry. No, the bookends is done through uh, booking.com. Uh -huh. Well, Dougie deal deals with the computer work and I think, uh -huh. and I just do all the cleaning and look after the the pods and yep. the wash and I think look at. Yeah, yep. Okay. You, you mark, when people come in a boot, you're right up to see oh, them. Oh, that's right. Aye. Right. Like right. Introduce them and, and welcome them. Welcome them. Welcome park, them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. And it's quite good at that. Bra I'm quite right. Aye. Quite Aye. 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 right. Now, um, the other thing I was wanting to mention now, with you two being together as a couple, um, how far as I hope is an interest for you in a waffle here? Because oh, right now I presume it sticks up a lot of your time, does it? It sticks up a lot of time. Aye. Aye. Yep. I like walking. I like doing quite a lot. Of so, Farley's go for a walk. Uh, are you speaking about getting some wine in the car and here in a walk? Or do you no, no, well, there's a lot of walks just opened up around about here. Uh -huh. Again, so they're brilliant. Around about, aren't they? Uh, there's a lot of new Aye. walks around here, which the Fermat has created. Uh, one right at the beach, the other one uh, right up around the quarry. And uh, there's, there's one up just here, yeah, it's just now just created. Around about our host and the right back. Here. Well, Excellent. Often, so it's handy. We often enjoy the do the beach. We do a lot of well. We're going up the gardens and walk the crovey. Uh -huh. We often do that. Yep. We get a cup of coffee at a little coffee shop. We'll and like and so um, I presume it's quite. It's been difficult for our wee lot do. Trying to social distance and that. Um, how how do you find it? Do you think it's been? Has it been really needed for us area? And like us, nowadays we're going to get into shops with the masks on and out. How do you feel about that? 
The fire pit is the issue with your social distancing, but they were made aware of it, and you can only tell them what to do. Aye, yep. You, you okay. can't say, do that. Uh -huh. can. It's up to the individual. But they were good. Aye, they were. Uh -huh. aye. Aye. So, but in a way, there's, there's not a lot for. If anybody's coming here to bide, because the cabins are so far apart, it's not really causing a bother, is no. it, for social yeah. distancing? No. Yeah. No, it's, so it, it's a really good plan, dude, by the way. The community uh, room is the issue with people coming for but this weekend it's going to be full and it's our own family. Mm -hmm. So there's not an issue there. But it's been relaxed as of last Saturday night mm -hmm. that you can do a family group. All right. And mm -hmm. for this next Saturday night, you can more or less do what you want. Oh, it's about a fifth Aye, right. yep. Or okay. Wear a mask or keep your meter or a meter and a half distance. Uh -huh. Fun do you and see Arthur going back to. Just, near that just going to the shoot near this year. Yeah. Def so you think it's going to go on to left after Christmas? So. Yeah. For sure. Okay. Um, other thing I was going to ask you now, if I would um, like, for no speaking about this place, how much folk in total can come on in? Because like, we've got a teepee here. How, how much folk can bide in a teepee? In? Well, uh, well, four adults and like two kids. Two kids. Uh -huh. So six in total. Oh, okay. Six. And the pods can hud. Four, four in the cabin. Four, four in the chain. And, and, and no, three in the pod. Three in a, uh, three in a pod. Three in a pod, four in the cabin. Four in the cabin. Okay. So we can have 13 folk in total. Uh, so that's Plus quite good. And tents and I use this. Use tents and I. tent in the area on the side there, we only take two to three tents. Uh huh. Okay. And, and we have a camper van area over there. I noticed the camper van is, is um, so is that, is that the like for two camper vans or? Three marks. Three at a max. Okay. But we've got two power points over here as well for a couple of caravans there as well on the grass. But uh -huh. um, depends if it why we have to curtail that because we haven't got the facilities to accommodate that amount of people. Mm -hmm. Nay if it's full. Yep, okay. Yeah. Now I was gonna ask about uh, your health and all. How have you been health wise? Uh, have you encountered or years like problems with health? Because well I, I have, I've had like a dodgy knee in the past which is fine new it is, but if you in health wise, I think going we've fine. We've been lucky, haven't we? We've been, been quite lucky, aye. Uh, so um, far. Touch wood. <laughs> and so you're taking vit vitamin pills every morning and stuff like yeah. that? No. No? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. No. No. Right, okay. Not yet. No, 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 no. Now, uh, sp speaking about uh, our own neighbour doer, obviously you've been here a long time, right? Um, but do you feel is our mayor Ewing just going to be doing around this area? Or is this, just, is this as far as you're going with the, the teepee and the cabin and the pod? Or is our mayor to come? No, that's it. No, that's, that's going to be it. Set. It's going up for sale next year. Why? Why it's paint. You serious or no? <laughs> no I don't care. He's <laughs> okay. He's I was about to say, it's a lot of work to paint a place and then getting over no sale in it. We're getting run out, so. No, that's, that's good to hear. Um, so the future, um, you think this place is going to be running hopefully for the next? Five ten at least. Well, we're hoping. Aye, I yeah. think it will. We'll be here for five years. Aye. Um, I wouldn't have think we'll be running after that period of time. Mm -hmm. um, basically, that will take me up to pension age. Mm -hmm. Well, legal pension age. So after that, it that depends on fit, fit, how our health keeps up. Really. Aye. That's something I want to speak about because you've touched on it was something uh, career-wise. Back when you left school and you and I, and we'll speak about it, it's just new, but. We'll start with you, Doug. When yeah. you left school, yeah. what did you do as a job? I went down to Green Arms to actually become a panel beater to start with. But there wasn't a job, so they put me in a body shop, making refrigerated vans. Mm -hmm. And then they offered me a job after a year, taking into the panel shop, or into the car shop, sorry. But uh, I had taken back the first year's wages, 
and I was dating on it that time, you see, so I was needing the money because it's high maintenance. For meals every weekend? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Chinese. 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 <laughs> mm. yeah, so basically, I could do that route uh, four years in Grand Rams, then my father offered my job and I went down to build it. And you've been a builder ever since, really, and that's, that's helped you get us place in the go in now, boy. I've employed right? since I was 20 years old. Wow, and so you've never had to go any other company to... No. Wow, never it's unreal. Been there and was your, was your dad a builder? My father was a stonemason. Did he learn the yellow about a stonemason? Oh, he, he so he picked up quite a bit. Well, he was the guy that showed me around. Mm -hmm. He gave me a gift in life. So you're still doing work? Yeah, a lot of stonework. Aye, okay. But, and you enjoy it? Of course. Yeah, you've I, enjoyed I, it over I, years? I, I enjoy stonework more than... I don't build blocks anymore. Uh -huh. And um, basically, uh, a lot of swapping out and materials, things like that, yeah. quota and such like. And somebody says, I didn't do a lot, but I'm always there. Does he stress you sometimes on if, he's, uh, oh, if he gets stressed about <laughs> things? Comes in more than about a job, going, this boy's flipping, what oh, changed us? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and what about your cell on? What about when you left school? When I left the school, oh, I worked in Maitlands. Oh wow! I was in Maitlands in the China department, and then well we got married, and then well I got it, and then it was me until then Gemma come and go, and then after Gemma was six, I started at Farmley. I was at Farmley Eggs. But like for parking, getting eggs parked in. Oh uh, right, okay. And how did you find that? I was here fifteen years. So you enjoyed that? I enjoyed it. I was. It's fine being in a money company and that thing and all. Just a bit of band and crack. That was the main thing, aye. Aye, okay. I was part time. Aye. Okay. I was part time. time. And then. But you got a good pension, you I should so, have a pension, you would. Aye. So, like, look at, looking back at egg, is there a lot changed new, nowadays, do you think? We are, or is it still the same system from folk was. Oh, no. No. No, family is a big thing now, and it's all into robots. robots er, er, and that aye, thing okay, that thing's doing it oh, for aye. instead of folk picking the eggs and. Aye, it would be robots. I, well, I've never been back. Well, I've been left. Oh, <coughs> nine years I've been left. Family. So it's changed. It's all this robots and nothing new since I left. Aye. And I've never been back since. So, so are you in your big game um, technology fans? And I, I was wanting to ask you is that by the way. Is there Wi Fi in this place? Yes. Oh, aye, we've got Wi Fi. <laughs> They've even got Wi Fi. Wi -Fi. You see, who, they're, they're up to date. They're not behind the times. So that's why you've got a, a 9.8 webooking.com. That's com. right. Aye. Uh, it's good to hear. So I, I can come and connect my. Could I connect my iPad if I'm passing here just to get free Wi Fi? Yeah, well, we kind of stop on but you can only get. I'm joking. You can only get in the community room. Ah, right. Okay. The units in a good. Okay, so you're well up to date with technology, and our things kind of go in here. So that's great to hear. Um, thank you for being on a, a Sticky Trifle podcast. Uh, I can't believe you've. Uh, it's, a, it's a first couple we've had in a Sticky Trifle podcast, so I'm, I'm so honoured and delighted to hear you on. Here we go. For that Stay reason. Top. And. Um, <laughs> Before I go, uh, I'm hoping that you continue to have success with us, bless. Thank you. It's it's looking really top notch, being honest. Yeah. For, for the look around that, and uh, you're at a great location. Oh, it's super. Yeah. It's a, it, it's like I think it's for uh, New Aberdeen's possibly been missing, which is what you've came up with, which is brilliant. So, um, and. Hope, hopefully this marriage keeps going strong, if, if, as long as you does not get on to you about anything there, <laughs> arguing or... Give me a, sh Anne, give me a shout on a That's Facebook right. messenger yeah, if he's yeah, cracking yeah. up and I'll, I'll hear a word with him. So. If I do I shout up. <laughs> <laughs> no, me. No, I'm the one shouting it. So. Right, thank you very much for yeah, being well. on and all the best with us, bless, okay? Okay. And, okay, and we'll see you next week in a sticky fight. Sticky. Bye. Sticky Trifle podcast will return next week. Well, I've got to say, I think Doogie and Anne has done a fantastic job of AC, DC glamping. And what a way to improve New Eberdua by taking something fresh, up to date and also just a brilliant location overall. The other thing 
I've realised about fit they've gone and done is the actual confidence taking a heed and decide to go and do something like this. Um, in the time spent, can, a lot of energy has been spent getting this place put together, but it's for enjoyment of other people, which is so fresh. And you've got a pod, and you've got a cabin, and you've got a TV. It's also got that comfort level of in the home comforts, which Abdi likes. While the cabin in a pod will fit four people in total overall, the TB is slightly different. We've been able to fit six. In another tap, by the way, when I opened the doors, it was so hot and warm, so the insulation and the heat aspects, I promise you, you'll never ever feel calm if you bide a night here. Oh, and I've just realised, I still haven't got the Wi-Fi password for this place. <laughs> well, and after my first viewing of AC, DC glamping, I'm pretty sure we're looking at the future or new Aberdour. And it leaves one question. Is the Dower Hotel really in the past? Or will that also one day make a reappearance? Stay positive until next week. Bye.